Sir Andrew de Vore came here in 1297 and raised the standard in order to begin a fight against the English known as the Scottish War of Independence. This is his coat of arms. He then went on to claim victory with William Wallace at the Battle of Stirling. However, it was not to last. In November 1297, he died of wounds collected on that fateful day in September 1297. And, and so Andrew de Mori was buried at Fortress Cathedral. Or was he? See all the articles we read while researching this video a year ago um, said that the whole th that he was buried in Rosemarkey, except for one, the top one, from the Scotsman, which said it was here in Fortress. But which one was it? And we soon found out what the confusion was. There were three Andrew de Morris. Andrew de Morris. The Andrew de Morris we're interested in was the son of an Andrew de Morris and the father of an Andrew de Morris. So, his father and him were captured in a castle, and he managed to escape while his father didn't. Then his son, Andrew de Morey III, went on to become a guardian of Scotland himself. On this site, a chapel was built by St Boniface here in Rosemarkey. And that was where Andrew de Morey the Younger was buried before being moved to Dunfermline Abbey to be with Robert the Bruce. So we thought that was the end of it. But oh no. We were very wrong. But how could this be? We've already established that he was buried in Rosemarkey. So, uh... Back to researching we went for another year of on and off research and the answer presented to okay, it was presented to us. Something was wrong. A book about Fortress Cathedral stated that he was buried that the elder was buried in Rosemarkey, even though he should be buried here. But no one knows where. So um, but all the evidence points against it, and so what we have found is a classic example of skewed facts. Fact checking is very important while making YouTube videos, especially ones about history, where when you go back as far as before the printing press, which is how far back we're going, documents become few and far between. Evidence becomes more and more built on other people's evidence, and um, those people might be adding things into the timeline that didn't actually happen. There's plenty of this when you go looking. Don't go looking. Please. Save your own, save your souls, people. So this tale of Andrew de Morey's burial place here in the Fortress Cathedral is also a tale of misinformation and the glory of the printing press. <sighs> Back to the big project. See you then.